There are over three and a half million vans on Britain's roads. In other words, around one in every seven vehicles is a light goods vehicle. Every one of them has been designed to transport a load securely from A to B. Correct loading will help to safeguard the lives of those on and off the vehicle. Vehicles which have not been loaded correctly or which are overloaded are extremely dangerous. An insecure load can kill others if it falls from the vehicle and could have severe safety implications for driver and passengers if it breaks loose inside the vehicle. Braking, steering and handling can be badly affected by overloading, especially in emergencies, and the consequences can be catastrophic. The law is clear. As the driver, even if you did not load the vehicle, you're still legally responsible for it. If caught in charge of an overloaded vehicle, you may be fined up to £5,000 per offence. If considered dangerous, you could have your licence endorsed or removed and, in the worst case, be sent to prison. Overloaded vehicles can be detected in a number of ways, as simply as an officer on the road looking at a vehicle and suspecting that it's overweight has the power then to stop the vehicle and take it to a, to a weighbridge. Uh, we also are continually looking at new methods and new technologies that will assist us in that process. One such item being the, uh, the weigh in motion system, which links with uh, the AMPR system. That system will alert uh, the police officers or the, the um, VOSA agents that your vehicle is overweight and you will mo most likely get stopped further down the road. Or if you're involved in a collision, there's every likelihood that your vehicle be weighed as a result of that collision during the investigation into it. So there is every likelihood that if you're running a vehicle on the road that's overweight, you will be caught. Well, the first thing that drivers need to do is to be aware of the load carrying capacity of the vehicle. And secondly, they need to ensure that the the loads that they're putting on the vehicles are evenly distributed across the axles and of course that they are properly secured in place for transit. The first thing you must know is the maximum amount your vehicle can legally weigh. This includes the vehicle itself, the load, the crew, fuel and anything else that contributes to its overall weight, like tools or equipment. This is called the Maximum Permissible Weight, or MPW, and it must never be exceeded. Sometimes this is also called the vehicle's gross weight. This information is normally shown on a special plate fixed to the vehicle by the manufacturer, usually inside one of the door pillars or under the bonnet. It will also tell you the maximum weight that each axle can carry, a legal requirement as well as safety critical. You will also find this information in the manufacturer's handbook. If in any doubt, never drive a loaded vehicle without first asking your manager. If you're towing a trailer, you must calculate the maximum your combination can legally weigh, including the loads carried by the drawing vehicle and the trailer. This will be more than the towing vehicle's own MPW and is called the maximum permissible train weight, and this too must never be exceeded. When towing a trailer, the figure you should look for first is the maximum permissible train weight of the drawing vehicle, which is also found on the vehicle's plate or in the handbook. However, the amount you can carry may be restricted by the capacity of the trailer, so you must also find out the MPW of the trailer and add it to the MPW of the vehicle. If the sum is less than the maximum permissible train weight on the drawing vehicle's plate, it is this lesser weight you must load to. Always load to the lowest maximum permissible train weight figure. The MPW plate on a trailer is normally located on the A-frame. Manufacturers may recommend a maximum weight of trailer appropriate to the vehicle, and consideration must be given to the weight and suitability of the drawing vehicle to avoid problems with hill starts or losing control while driving. As a rule of thumb, the actual weight of the trailer should not normally exceed 70% of the actual weight of the drawing vehicle. The tail wagging the dog can have disastrous implications. The towing of trailers may require additional driver license entitlements and can bring up other issues such as special braking requirements, driver's hours rules and operator licensing. You must always check first with your manager. 
you must know the maximum load or payload that you can carry. This is very different and much smaller than the MPW. This may be marked in or on your vehicle by your employer. If not, ask your manager what the payload is. There are many different types of load, and their size and shape sometimes bear no relation to their weight. For example, sand is a common load in the construction industry, but its weight varies enormously depending on whether it is wet or dry. This tipper may look only half full, but because the sand in it is wet, it's already at its weight capacity. By adding more to the load, it could easily become unsafe and illegal. If your vehicle is fitted with load sensing equipment, make sure you know how to use it. If you're unsure whether your vehicle is overloaded or not, contact your manager. In some cases, it may be possible to take the vehicle to the nearest way bridge and then to a suitable place to take off some of the load if there's a problem. Be aware that similar looking vehicles can have very different capacities. For example, transit vans can be specified with different gross weights but physically look the same. By the same token, these two vans look different in size but have exactly the same MPW. Don't assume that a larger van has a larger weight capacity. Particular care should be taken with higher vehicles. Remember that any passengers will add to the weight and reduce your payload as will other items, such as tools or equipment. To maximize the payload, remove any items that you won't need. A key component of safe loading is how the load is distributed. Always make sure it's evenly placed across both axles of your vehicle so that the weight is shared between them. As a general rule, keep the load as low and as central as possible. Uneven distribution can cause an axle to be overloaded, even though the overall weight is under the maximum permissible weight for the vehicle. This creates a seesaw effect, overloading an axle and seriously affecting the performance of the suspension, the brakes and the steering. This is extremely dangerous. Whenever lifting loads and accessing vehicles, Make sure you use safe working practices and employ the correct manual handling and safety procedures according to your company's policies. Never use loading equipment that you're not qualified to use. Ask your manager if you're unsure about anything. Loads should always be properly secured to prevent them falling off the vehicle and to protect you and others in the vehicle from the load if you have to stop or move suddenly. You must never rely on the bulkhead to stop cargo coming through into the cab in an accident. If your vehicle is fitted with specialised restraining equipment like straps or racking, always use it. Each time you use the restraining equipment, check that it's still in good repair. After all, straps may become worn, oil may have corroded them, or bolts may become loose in time. Throughout the working day, it's important to keep checking the load and its restraints, as loads can move or settle. You may need to redistribute the load throughout your shift, as items are picked up or dropped off. Check it every time you start a new journey. So, to sum up, know the capacity of the vehicle and load it within its limits. Make sure your load is evenly distributed. Always secure the load properly. In this short video, we cannot cover every eventuality. Load distribution and security will differ according to the vehicle and the load carried. You should always treat each situation on its own merits. Your company may have its own special rules, and for more help and advice, you should first talk to your employer. Our message is quite simple. It's your responsibility to make sure the vehicle that you take out on the road is fit to do so. So make sure that the weight is within the permissible weight limits, that it's evenly distributed, and also that it's properly secured onto the vehicle. There have been a number of instances where items of the load shift or even fall from the vehicle and cause a collision. Can you live with the consequences if that causes serious injury or even death?